Chanel just expanded the shade range of the Rouge Allure Velvet Lipsticks and it is pretty much a tradition here on my channel. I review everything Chanel and yes, I went ahead and picked up So the Rouge Allure Velvet Lipsticks are the year kind of like luminous matte formulation, somewhat of a natural formula, very hydrating, non-drying with a lot of pigments. So it has full, full opacity and they are also long wearing. Obviously you need to reapply them. But in these past years, the Rouge Allure Velvet formula was a little bit neglected by Chanel because they only really had like, I think it was like six different shades and every season not well not every season but now and then mostly at springtime or with limited edition collections they used to come just with like two three different limited edition shades in fact i do have a few right here from le comet collection le leon collection as well as the camellia collection so they had this beautiful kind of motif embossing lovely but again they were always limited edition and sadly chanel didn't pay more attention to that line so finally they did so and they did it for this spring 2023 which is not the spring 2023 collection but it's kind of like what they have done with the rouge allure lipsticks last year during fall time do you remember all those nude shades that came out that everybody was like wow i in fact reviewed pretty much I got all of them except for one shade. <laughs> I know, I know why I didn't pick up that last shade. I think it was just too deep of a shade for me. But anyhow, they are doing the same thing. Now, most of these lipsticks shades, they are in kind of like the rosy tone. That's why they are calling it the spring because although we are still like at the very beginning of winter, for brands, they are already ahead a season. That is completely normal. That's something that shouldn't surprise any any of us so if you see the chart of the different shades the 40s are more of those pinky tones the 50s are more of those red tones while the 60s are more of the nude tones but not brown tones they most of them they have a pinky undertone and then the 70s shades they are the plummy shades but then again the rouge allure velvets they come in 20 different shades six of them are pre-existing shades which they are re-promoting them and then 14 shades are the new shades i will be leaving all the details of my makeup each of the products that i'm talking about today everything will be on the description box below you should be able to purchase these lipsticks at the moment not only at chanel's website they are not yet well when i'm filming this video they are not yet available in boutiques but i know they will be coming available at the different retailers that they carry chanel now before we go for swatches let's look at the beautiful allure packaging as you can tell it has the cc logo on the top again because these are not limited edition these are going to be permanent while the limited edition ones they usually come with another type of print like this one right here is from le comet so it has a little like comet a star like the camellia le lion etc so the way to open it up press right here and it opens up the first shade we're going to go with is number 60 in temporal And if you're new here to my channel, I film in natural light. So hopefully this will give you the best representation on each of these shades. 61 Intuitive. Such a beautiful shade, a little bit more warm tone. In fact, I feel like this shade has more of like a fall kind of vibe. 63 Essential. And then the last shade is 64 Eternel. Wow, what a fabulous shade. Although it's on the 60 range, which means it is kind of like a nudie type of shade. Obviously nude for those who have deeper complexions. Wow, <laughs> what a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. Honestly, in love. And I love this formulation because again, it's not satin. It's supposed to be matte, but it's not your typical matte. 
it's not drying it's creamy it does have full full opacity it's just beautiful it's absolutely beautiful i thought i have also purchased a fifth one i have to check on my invoice because i'm pretty sure i also ordered it ardente um, but I didn't sort it on the box. So anyhow, if I find it, I may do a post on Instagram or TikTok. So if you're not yet following me on Instagram and TikTok, I will highly suggest you to do so. It would mean a lot to me. And if you're not subscribed yet to my channel, I invite you to subscribe to my channel because right here I bring you again all the new and upcoming releases from luxury brands and if you're a Chanel lover you want to make sure you have that post notification bell on. If you like this video please do not forget to give it a thumbs up also share it with family and friends. I would love to know from you now what are the shades that you want to pick up from this collection. Let's continue the conversation on the comment section down below and if you're not done watching my content I will be leaving a couple other videos right here that I'm sure you're gonna love. Until the next time I hope you have a beautiful wonderful day. Bye! -bye.